Today's project is brought to you by Skillshare, an awesome online learning community. So stay tuned for a special free offer you're going to love. I've built my share of crazy gadgets over the years, including last year's world's loudest alarm clock, where I poured BBs in a blender and fired it up to wake me up. Well, it's time to use a blender again, this time a giant glow-in-the-dark spin art machine. Let's do it. I took a trip over to my local super center and picked out the cheapest blender I could find because that's all I need for this project. It's got six speeds, but even at the slowest speed, it's spinning way too fast for this project. So I'm gonna use a motor controller to slow things down. Now on the top of this blender and most blenders, there are little teeth that grab the blade inside the top part of the blender. These have to go. So breaking out the Dremel with a cutting blade and we're gonna remove those teeth. But first, we're gonna protect our eyes with some safety glasses. Fortunately, this blender is so cheap, the top part is made out of plastic and my Dremel cuts through these teeth like butter. And once those are all cut off, we're gonna add our sanding attachment and we're gonna sand the top of this blender flat. We need a platform for our glow-in-the-dark spin art machine, so I'm using some quarter-inch plywood, and I'm gonna cut a piece about 24 inches by 24 inches square, and we'll sand the edges smooth. Now, in order to find the center of this piece of wood, I'm gonna run my ruler from corner to corner and make a mark. Then, do it on the other corners and make another mark. That is our center. Then I'm gonna measure the diameter of the blender drive gear, and it's about two and a quarter inches in diameter. Then using an ordinary compass, we're gonna make a circle on our quarter inch plywood. This will be the center of where the blender will be mounted. Then using a pencil, I'm just gonna eyeball three marks on this circle. This is where we will mount this piece of plywood to the top of our blender. And using a drill bit, I'm gonna drill out those three holes. After using our wood platform as a template, I went ahead and drilled three holes in the top of the blender gear. And using a set of screws, washers, and nuts, I'm gonna secure the wood platform to the top of the blender. Once that's done, it's time to flip over our blender because we're gonna need a base so this thing doesn't hop around when it's spinning at high speeds. The base will be half inch plywood, so I cut a piece out of scrap that I had in the garage, and this piece is also 24 by 24 inches square. With the blender centered on the top of our base, I'm gonna use a pencil and eyeball some marks where the little screw holes are that hold the plastic housing together on the blender. And I'll remove those original small screws because they're gonna be replaced. I've drilled four holes in our base and countersunk those holes so the screws go through and it'll allow the base to lay flat on the ground. I'll go ahead and tighten those four screws holding the wood to the base of the blender. And our giant spin art machine is done and ready to test out. I'm going to be using regular poster paper that I've cut to 22 by 22 inches. And I'll be using these large clips to hold the paper to our platform. And the finishing touch is two fluorescent black lights. These are going to make it look really cool when the lights go out. For paint, I'm going to kick it up a notch with these neon and glow acrylic paints. Okay, it's time to give our giant glow-in-the-dark spin art machine a test run. I'll start off using the white poster paper and see how it goes. There's no right or wrong way to lay the paint down. Just do it and have fun. Take a look with the black light. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, time to try some different colored poster paper. Here we go. I grabbed a small paintbrush and used that to drag the paint around for just a different effect. Get creative and see what kind of designs you can come up with.
of that's how to make an awesome, giant, glow-in-the-dark spin art machine. You know, for years, people have been asking me, Kip K, how do you learn to do the things you do? It's a lot of trial and error and experience, but you don't have to spend a lot of time learning something thanks to Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with more than 20,000 classes in DIY, photo, video, and more. When you join, you get access to high quality classes from experts in their field, so you can learn, improve your skills, and do what you love. They even have classes on how to grow your YouTube channel. Skillshare is super affordable, with an annual subscription less than $10 a month. The folks at Skillshare are so convinced that if you try it, you'll love it, that they're giving the first 500 of my fans a two-month free trial. So check out Skillshare right now by clicking the link in the description. This offer won't last long, so start learning today with Skillshare. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.